All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to optimize your game settings using the NVIDIA app. So long story short, if you go to the graphics tab here, this is where all of your games are and all of their settings and where you will go if you want to tweak the settings and optimize them for best performance versus best quality. You can really just determine that by dragging the slider here at the top to the left or the right. You know, the right is quality, the left is performance, and it will guesstimate what it thinks your best, you know, performance to quality settings are. And supposedly NVIDIA has this big fancy server setup that allows them to emulate a whole bunch of different hardware settings to try to understand and give you an actually decent uh, recommendation. I don't know how true that is. That's just, a, that's just a claim from them, but that's supposedly what goes on. So when you want to get this working, pick a game that you want to optimize. Like, let's say I want to optimize Sea of Thieves. And the first thing I want to do is I want to click on this arrow and I want to set a couple of settings. So normally I run Sea of Thieves in, you know, full resolution on my main monitor and in full screen mode. I can also determine a windowed mode, but their windowed mode isn't very good. So I just go with full screen mode. And I kind of like, uh, personally, I kind of like more of like a performance setting with Sea of Thieves, just because Sea of Thieves is notorious, especially with new patches of being laggier than hell. So once I kind of pick all that stuff, I can click the optimize button and NVIDIA will change my settings to what it recommends I use for a combination of really good looks and also being able to, you know, play it with some performance. Now, I will say a lot of performance issues tend to come down to shadow detail, which they've set to legendary which doesn't seem very uh, performance focused at all. So maybe if I drop it down one more tick. So shadow detail, it dropped it down from legendary to rare, texture quality to rare and all that stuff. So that's a little bit better, but, and so it, uh, really this is just a set of recommendations from NVIDIA. You're gonna have to test this. And if you don't like what you see or the performance isn't great, just manually go into your settings in game. And from there, you can tweak the settings to what you know you like. Similarly, I'm not super thrilled about these settings versus what I had before. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to the top here. I'm gonna click revert. And it's gonna undo before I optimized and played with things. It's gonna revert it to what I had before, and that's fine. Um, currently, what I have is I've got certain details turned down to garbage just for the sake of uh, performance. Like, I know my shadow detail wasn't set to mythical before, but it's supposed to be set down to cursed because, well, shadows, again, are one of those things that just lag you and you don't necessarily always notice that they're crisp and properly shaped, just that there is one. And you can do this with pretty much any one of these different games, like you can do this with Fortnite. Fortnite's also in here. Just again, make sure you've got these settings for resolution and display mode set up. I like windowless borderless uh, with Fortnite, and I like to have this kind of in the middle for performance because some of the game modes are a little on the laggy side with all their crazy visual effects. So I'm gonna click optimize and we'll see what it does. So this is what I said before, um, NVIDIA, when they do sort of test to offer recommendations for optimization, they give their best guess based on their testing on their server, try to emulate all the settings from a bunch of different uh, computer configurations. However, when it comes to things like anti-aliasing, if there's multiple options and one of them happens to be the NVIDIA version, they will prefer and they will lean towards using the NVIDIA version. If you test it and notice that the NVIDIA version isn't the most optimized, you'll have to log in to Fortnite in this case and manually change it back to something else. 
It used to be in the GeForce experience, you could go through this little list and you could click on stuff and you could change it yourself to whatever the normal range of options are. But for some reason, they're not giving that option. I don't know why. Um, and then the last thing I'll talk about is down here is like the driver settings. These are the global settings. These are things like uh, is DSR factors on or off, image scaling, low latency mode, max frame rate. So that being like a frame rate limiter. Uh, if you want to have vertical sync turned on based upon whatever the 3D program is, I don't like vertical sync. I've never really had it do enough to care, but it do, it can lag or reduce your frame rate. So I always turn it off anyway. So it makes sense on the graphics card level to just say, you know what? We don't really need this. Just leave it off all the time. And so you can change these yourself at any time. These ones aren't locked off to the game itself. These are universal settings. So if you get new hardware or something changes on your system or it updates and you notice things are improving for quality and performance, you can play with these to see if you can get some more quality out of what you're doing. And if for whatever reason your game isn't showing up in this list, because sometimes you just installed it and it's not showing up, it's not been updated, you can go down to settings and then here under games and apps, you can click scan now on the right hand side here and it should automatically scan your computer for games and be like, oh, obviously we missed Hello Kitty Island Adventure. All right, my bad. Okay. And then they'll add it to the list and everyone's happy. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to optimize stuff with the NVIDIA app. Personally, I don't like it because it seems to try to prioritize quality over performance, even when you say, just give me performance only. And that's kind of annoying because it's not that hard to balance pretty decent looking textures and physical like 3D rendered characters while also turning off things like shadows and not limiting the frame rate, or it actually sometimes limiting the frame rate can help. Again, it just depends on the game. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.